This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Weekend Magic. All right, so the deck we are taking a look at today is a Simic Explore deck, and uh, it's pretty fun. So we have four Curious Obsession, three of the Gaia's Blessing, yes, I love this card, four Merfolk Branch Walker, four Wild Growth Walkers, four Mirror Image, because duplicating things is fun. Four Siren Lookouts, two J Light Rangers, two Switcheroos, four Tender Shoot Dryads, two Vivian Reeds, two uh, Mordrotho the Grave Tide, two Entrancing Melodies, and then eight Islands, one Swamp, ten Forest, and four Evolving Wilds. So the deck doesn't really have any removal. Instead of removal, I have the Switcheroo and the Entrancing Melody in order to just take the things that become a threat. The whole goal of the deck is to just be faster than your opponent and kill them faster than they can kill you, more or less. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it a go, and uh, you can see how it plays. All right, so that's a half decent starting hand. I think we can make that work. Yeah, I feel like if I mulligan, I'm probably just gonna get something worse. So, preferably, I would have liked to had more stuff to play. Um, maybe a curious obsession. Uh, we're drawing a lot of land. Hopefully, we can filter through it. So we're gonna grab an island first, so we can cast this guy. Oh look, a vampire deck, how unique. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and we'll just draw a card. Might as well play this while we can. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so next turn I think we'll cast the Wild Growth Walker and then we'll cast that. Wow, really, okay. So we're probably gonna lose this, maybe, because I feel like we're already pretty far behind. So we're going to take six next turn. And then I don't even know if I can sl Wow, really? Dude, you're so good at magic. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't attack. He should have attacked. Okay, well, maybe we'll have a chance then. Probably not. We're, we're probably going to lose terribly, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to put him on the library. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Wow. Yeah, that's that's just GG. Holy crap, are you for real? I get, I'm so sick of playing against these freaking vampire decks. It's just the same thing. Every time you play Magic, you see nothing unique. It's vampires or merfolk. Vampires or merfolk. That's all anybody wants to play. All right, well, we're going to cast this. Um, we really can't do a whole lot here. Pass the turn. I mean, we got some bodies on the ground now, which helps a little. Wow, yeah, that's GG. He's going to attack with everything. Yeah. That dude had, like, the god starting hand. That was ridiculous. All right, so we're going to give this another go. That's a terrible starting hand. Yeah. It could be worse. We're going to keep it. I'm getting, like, the worst draws. But we're not going to be able to play anything till turn three. We have the switcheroo, which is kind of useless because we don't have any of our crappy cards. And yeah. Oh, well, we can play a wild growth. That's that's actually pretty good. So in the next turn, we can play Jade Light and then we can copy the Jade Light. But this is probably going to get removed. Opponents looking for a way to remove it or not. Play some spy bug. OK. What we could do is let the spy bug get a little big and then swap out the jade light. Just do a switcheroo. All right, so we'll do that. Then we'll do that. At least this guy's going to help us with a little bit of survivability. Oh, that's actually pretty good there. This will. I don't know how much removal they have. Usually they play some counter spell in this deck and removal in this style deck. So we will see. Should I? Att I'm gonna attack. See if they block. Didn't think they would. What's great now is if this doesn't, even if it does get removed, it should create at least one 
um, sapperling, and then we can use the switcheroo to steal their stuff and give them sapperlings. Wow, opponents is playing all the stuff. But go ahead and empty your hand. Okay, so we're draw that, then we'll play this, and we'll copy Shade Light. Okay, and now we're going to attack. If they block. Actually, I should have attacked with both. I don't know what I was thinking there. Figured that was going to get removed, but it's good that they wasted the removal on that. Now we can cast the the Dryad. Well, this guy's getting big too. That's nice. Get big. I may, I may do the switcheroo. I can play that next and just swap out and give them the mirror image. Do no blockers. Oh, I should have blocked that guy. I didn't notice he was attacking with that guy. That's fine. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Thanks. Now you're taking four. <laughs> Thanks for putting that back in my graveyard. That's going to come in handy later. What sucks is we can't block with it because it's tapped, but, you know, we still have it anyway. Killing his, <laughs> killing his own spy bug. There you go. Waste all of that. Now we can cast the Dryad. We might actually pull this match off. Just surveilling like crazy over there. Okay, so we're at least getting one one little sap because he's tapped out right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to force him to block. Come on and block. You know you don't want me to have that card draw. There you go. Okay, so that worked out well. This is probably going to get removed really quickly. Probably waiting on double black for whatever whatever these two cards are. Thinking about it. Come on, it's not rocket science. It's just Magic the Gathering. There you go. Now what we could do is steal the sprite and start attacking him with the sprite as well. But I feel like he's probably going to cast a uh, Doom Whisper. So I'm going to hold on to this for the Doom Whisper. So many slow players. Come on, there you go. All right, so we'll drop the land and uh, we're going to attack because we got to. Oh no, don't block with that. I kind of wanted that maybe. Okay, well, never mind. I should have maybe attacked with this too, but. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just put it back down next turn. Oh. That's the one that kills everything, right? Yeah. That, uh, that sucks. So we're holding on to everything we got. Because that's going to destroy, destroy all non-artifact creatures. Yeah, exile all cards from opponent's graveyard. Oh, uh, well, we're not really losing a whole lot there, but we will attack. Get that card draw. We're, we're going to take two, but I don't really care. I'd rather deal the damage and get the card draw. Probably going to wait till this, this hits and then, um, probably going to cast Doom Whisperer now, which we can just straight up steal. Actually did me a favor by returning this to my hand. 
I'll I'll take the whole two. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's do that, and now next it just exiles all cards, right? We're safe to cast this again. You got a counter spell? Yeah, you do. Congratulations. That kind of sucks. Now we gotta hope he doesn't have a counter spell for the next one. Could st steal that guy. No, I know he's got a Doom Whisper. I'm gonna wait for it. I mean, we got plenty of health. We can take a couple more hits. Bye bye, graveyard. You were good while you lasted. Don't be. Ha uh, don't have another counter spell in your hand. Have a creature. Cast it. Cast it. Only another freaking counter spell. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, we'll do something then. And he quits. Okay. I hate when they waste the time and then just quit. Anyway, there we go. Let's play one more. That went pretty good. We pretty much won that one anyway. I think I'm going to keep it. It's probably a terrible idea. But we're going to keep it anyway. What are we going against here? White. Okay. White I can deal with. Wild Growth Walker. Probably won't have any removal for that right away. Oh my god, vampires again. You know what? Uh, let's do this. And now we're going to attack. We're off to a little bit better start. We may... Well, I don't know now. That kind of puts a damper on our situation here. Well, if we do this... Um, let's do this. Oh. Think this is the play we want? Um, you gotta go on the top. And then we'll do this. It's fine. I'm going to cast this one on this one next turn. Just asserting my dominance. And I had to attack anyway. Wow, really? Two of them. That's fantastic. So, that kind of limits us a little bit here. Let's try this then. Um, he'll probably double block. Well, let's do this. Yeah, because if, if I don't attack with both, he'll double block this guy. If he double blocks this guy, he gets through. Or he sacrifices his legion. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that trade. Nice. That works for me. Okay. Uh, we're going to cast that. Nice. Very nice. And now we'll cast that. And opponent quits. Alright, well, that's the deck. Um, it's not too expensive, so if you got the cards, uh, give it a go. I don't recommend right now, since the new block's getting ready to come out, uh, I don't recommend spending any cards right now. You should be saving all that for the new stuff. 
Um, but if you got the cards, give it a shot. You may like it. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.